Alrighty, quick video walk around of our 2023 Cougar Sport 2700BH. Uh, this is going to be uh, Cougar's new segment for uh, the purposes of lightweight and towability. Uh, so these are going to be the lightest and shortest units Cougar offer now. And uh, we are going to find this unit at 32 feet, three inches all in, but about a 27 feet addition to your truck box. Um, it is going to be about 7,500 pounds dry weight. So as it is right now, and GVWR lies just under of 9,500 pounds. We are going to see that this unit is going to be a fully insulated fiberglass exterior aluminum frame with two 30 pound propane tanks, one in each side. Um, it is going to have the standard solar panel packages for uh, Keystone, which entail a 200 watt solar panel with a 15 amp charger controller and a pass through and some gauges for you to see how much energy it is intaking. With this new segment, um, they do feature the fiberglass doors now for a more sporty look. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we are going to find temp light tires, E-rated, as well as our frameless uh, windows. So these are still going to be tinted. They just open outwards instead of sideways. Very great for weather insulation. We still have our power awning on the exterior, which is also going to be black with exterior speakers. In the back of this unit here, we're gonna see that this is going to be an access to the box. Mainly the idea here is if you want to make this storage, you just remove the mattress here and it has a nicely finished floor. But if you do, it did need a third bed in the bunk room, you do have that option. This unit is going to be very good for towing. So they do offer you uh, the class three hitch with a two inch receiver, the four pin there. This can take up to 300 pounds hitch weight. So from the top and tow about 3000 pounds. It is a uh, 50 amp unit as it is pre-wired for a second AC in a master bedroom, but I don't see the necessity of that in this particular size. You can see here in the back. Now, what the Cougars are coming is they're going to be a preset for ladder receiver. So Lippert now has a foldable ladder that can be put in your pass-through storage uh, instead of hanging on the outside here. That is an option that you could get and very easily use with that particular gadget here on top. That's going to be a backup camera prep. For this particular segment, what they have done to lose a little bit of weight and also uh, bring that sale price a little bit lower is going to be the usage of power stabilizers. So this one here is going to have power landing stabilizers in a back, so in your rear stabilizers here for the back end of your camper. Uh, this is going to be a sewer hole storage here. So you have a designated spot for your sewer hose and it does fit, uh, fit heavier duty uh, sewer hoses as well. You can see here that your slide out is going to be fully laminated as well. So this is going to be a very uh, well insulated unit with foam block insulation, fully um, enclosed and heated underbelly with some insulation there as well, as well as in the front cap on the bottom here. So where your bed is at and in, in the roof as well. Um, on here, on your campsite side, uh, we are going to find our universal docking station with all of our gauges, our tank flushes a little bit of our solar panel package here so this is going to be our charger controller and that's a power disconnect for your charger controller to your battery so if you are disconnected in the unit this is just going to mean completely shut off uh, from the solar panels to the battery so you are completely unplugged here is going to be your gauges for your landing jacks as well uh, from the rear and the front as well you can see a little bit on that construction. Uh, it does have an inverter prep as part of the solar panel package. And something else to talk about is their uh, Gerard on demand uh, hot water system now. So it doesn't have a tank anymore. The water is being heated as it goes to you. So inside the bathroom, we're going to see a gauge so you can set a particular temperature uh, to your preference. Um, and then basically the water is just being heated in a vortex formation and uh, take uh, like given to you to straight to your tap from here uh the idea of that is that you have more hot water availability so one two three people can take shower in a row and you're not going to run out of hot water as i said this unit does have two 30 pound propane tanks with a regulator already one propane pound in each side
Going inside the unit, we see that this unit does have uh, Lippert solid steps. It is going to have one trifold couch that turns into a double sized bed, as well as a U shaped dinette. Um, as you see, the finishers on the uh, frameless windows are very, very nice, and all of these uh, windows now open instead of being just for light. Uh, we do have the dual color combo uh, option here for the cougars, which is uh, white kitchen cabinetry and storage cabinetries are going to be a lighter brown. Entering the camper, we see our kitchen counter to the left with tons and tons of storage. Mm -hmm. We are going to have an infotainment system with CD, DVD, reader, as you can see right here. This is connected to our exterior speakers and our interior ceiling speakers, which is already connected to our TV. This TV is included in a deal. We are going to find in this unit a three burner stove top with a heavy duty griddle. Um, and you do get a mini oven, a hood range and a microwave right above that with more storage here in the kitchen area, more counter space with our outlets, which are already inverted See here. It's nice that they put a shelf in the middle so you have more storage. Our sink is going to be one large size sink basin with an inox finish as well as a hose. And we still get more storage under the sink. This is going to be your sink cover so you have a drying rack and a cutting board. And we get uh, four fully extendable drawers. More storage below the oven here, so this is going to be perfect for pots and pans, large sized. They now have a uh, new furnace duct, so your furnace is going to be a 30,000 high efficiency, uh, fully ducted uh, furnace that's basically taken to both of your bedrooms, so in your master bedroom as well as your bunk bedroom in the back. But they do have these new um, registers uh, that prevent dust from going in but also distribute the hot air a little bit more efficiently. Something that's worth to mention in the Cougars is that they're going to have a hyper deck flooring. So this is a non-composite flooring. Basically what that means to you is there is no organic particles in uh, the construction of this flooring. So let's say uh, water got below the linoleum here. It is not going to affect the flooring. The flooring this unit is definitely going to outlast the coach since uh, it, it does not interact with water. So you're never going to get water damage or soft flooring in any spots. This unit does not have any carpet throughout. So even in our master bedroom there, you can see we still get the exact same floor finish as we have throughout the unit here. Our refrigerator is going to be part, kinda, <laughs> of that solar panel package. So this is now a 10 cubic feet Furian refrigerator. So it's about two cubic feet larger than the previous generation. Um, but basically the idea here is that it's, it uses less electricity. So you can operate this with a battery. And now that we have the solar panels up there, the solar panels are going to be up keeping your battery so that you can use more of the 12 volt aspects of the unit, which now include the refrigerator. We have LED lighting throughout and fully ducted AC. So this is going to be a 15,000 BTUs Furion Sop Start AC. And we can see all of our vents here for ACs. We have vents in every single unit, uh, every single room of the coach. Uh, so including our master bedroom, our bathroom and our bunk bedroom in the back. Quick pan out here of our living area. In going into our bunk bedroom, as I said, we have a three double bunks here. The bottom one can be used as storage with access from the outside, but we do have more hanging storage and shelving storage here uh, for your guests as well. As I said, you do get a vent for your AC there as well as one for your furnace. Um, the main bunk, so the top one and the middle one are going to have their own windows and their own lights. And you do get lights as well in the bottom one here, but you don't get a windows on it. You do get a pocket door here, so it's hidden in here. So it's very out of the way, very easy to use. And then going into uh, the front of the coach, we're going to find our control panels here for our 
uh, digital furnace tem uh, thermostat here. So this controls your furnace as well as your AC, so your, your HVAC system in general, your gauges for your battery and your tanks, your slide out uh, button as well as your power awning button, ceiling lights and awning lights. And then you do find a pocket door once again in our master bedroom here. Tons of room. Uh, this is a walk-in shower with a skylight. So very, very well uh, designed for adults. So it's going to give you extra headroom um, here in the unit. So now you can see it, but to give you a different angle of the bathroom. We're going to have our vent with a little fan there. Another AC vent. LED lights throughout. But we're going to have a dramatic porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Another uh, register for our furnace, a tower rack here, and we have three fully extendable drawers with some under sink storage, as well as a medicine cabinetry that's very well sized. Countertop is going to be a pressed countertop with no seam, so it's very, very easy to take care of. It's going to last you much longer. Another um, Anox a faucet here and we have that water heater. So this is going to be the Gerard uh, on-demand water heater system So you just set in here uh, the temperature for your water and it's just going to come to your taps all over the coach So that do, it does include your kitchen sink as well Very nice uh, large sink seat here so you can see the size of my hands with the gloves um, and then going into your master bedroom, we are going to have a standard 60 by 80 queen size bed with little storages here on each side, lots of shelving, so perfect for waters at night or a CPAP machine even. And you do get a, a 110 plug-in in each side as well as uh, two USB connections if you don't want to bring your little plug. Under the bed, we're going to find more storage. Sorry, it's very cold today, but you get tons of room in here. Um, you have two windows in this unit bedroom. So you're going to have one in each side. So perfect for a nice cross breeze and some storage in each side of the bed. So you're going to have some hanging storage and some overhead storage. And as I said, no carpet where you walk. So yes, yeah, some of the finishes here on the side, but where you walk, there is no carpet anywhere. You're going to have more storage here, so I'd say that this is your primary storage in your master bedroom. Some hanging storage and then three large size, fully extendable drawers. Mm -hmm. So you got three of those. Once again, no carpet, but I'm just going to do a quick pan out of the unit. If you have any questions on this item, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, again, my name is Mira and thank you so much for watching.